Solar Smash and the Suka game are two of my favorite games right now. Well, today they come together into one game. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Solar Smash. So yes, today we will be blowing up Suka Game Fruit in Solar Smash. It's gonna be amazing. Here we go. Okay, so this is the watermelon. I'm not gonna blow up the watermelon right now because this is gonna be the hardest planet to explode. We're actually gonna start from the bottom. So we're gonna blow up the cherry. Then we're gonna build our way all the way up through the apple, the peach, all those fruit. And at the end, we will blow up the watermelon and see what's inside. Okay, so the first fruit we will be blowing up is the cherry. Now, this is a very small fruit, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And it's also, uh, it's very blurry, okay? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I took a picture of all of the fruit and uploaded it to Solar Smash. The problem is the cherry is so small that when I put it in Solar Smash, it got blurry. But we're going to have to use our imaginations today. All right, so what do we want to do to blow up the cherry? I feel like the cherry is going to be very easy to blow up. Let's do... You know what? Let's go to one of the monsters. Nah, that's too much force. Let's throw the moon at the cherry and see what happens. Three, two, one, fire. And... Okay! You know what? That's a pretty darn big cherry if it was that much bigger than the moon. Look at the shockwave going through the cherry. And bam! Every single person on the cherry is now dead. Keep in mind, nobody was living on the cherry, so uh, they were dead before and they're dead now. But look at that! It looks like a it looks like a cherry that you you left in a volcano. I don't know. It, it doesn't look like a cherry anymore. Although it didn't really look much like a cherry before anyway. All right, let's go. Let's go lightning bolt. We're gonna go with the big lightning bolt. We're gonna go bam, 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 bam. Well, that's not as fun. Let's go with the other lightning, because that's more of like a storm. You know what? The original lightning might actually be stronger than the newer lightning. Look at all this lightning. Oh my gosh. I'm going to break the game. I am going to break the game. By the way, if you guys want to see more Solar Smash or more of the Suica game on the channel, hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now now all right the next fruit we have um are the grapes now this one turned out a lot better this one is a lot less blurry you can see like the green on the top you can see like the face and and everything else is purple and every fruit from here on out is gonna get better and, and the image is gonna get clearer and clearer but you guys don't really care about that you just want me to blow up the darn grapes okay what are we gonna blow up the grapes with Hmm, let's go with a black hole. Yes, a grape. Something that you can pop in your mouth and chew with no problem. Well, we're going to hit it with a darn black hole. Actually, we're going to hit it with two. So we're going to hit one side of the grape with the original black hole and one side of the grape with the new and improved black hole. And we're just going to watch this grape get torn apart. This grape is going to get abs. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, the new black hole is so much better. The new black hole is so much better. I mean, just look at the difference. This is the original black hole. I mean, it's not that bad. It is a pretty large crater in the side of this grape. This thing just consumed half of the grape right there. Although, once again, now that I think about it, I could eat an entire grape. This black hole only ate about one third of the grape so that's not that impressive i am just realizing right now that i never uploaded the deco pond fruit to solar smash so we're gonna pretend like we blew up the deco pond and we're moving right to the orange so here we go this is when the fruit actually start getting pretty big in the suica game this is like the the, the oranges are pretty good fruit. You could actually start making progress in the game. Uh, which, by the way, I gotta play more of the Suica game very soon. I'm very excited. I wanna get to 3,000. That is my goal. I wanna get to 3,000 in that game. But that's not what we're focused on right now. Right now, we are focused on blowing up this adorable, delicious, and nutritious planet, which is also a, a fruit. I don't know. Let's move on. Let's throw some asteroids at it, and we're gonna make these as big as possible. As big as possible. I guess it's a 10 out of 10. I don't even know what's going to happen right now. 3, 2, 1, go! Really? 
Really? That was the 10 out of 10 on the asteroids? What the heck was that, man? Wait, what was the difference? Oh. Wait. What was the difference between a 10 out of 10 and whatever the 1 is? Let's go 1 and shoot it side by side. Uh-oh, I just fired off more accidentally. I didn't mean to do that. Let's fire 1 right here. It looks exactly the same. That looks exactly the same. Okay, you know what? This isn't good. No, 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 no. We're going with the big asteroid. We're going to make this as big as humanly possible. Come on, come on, come on. What are we going to make this? What does it go up to? A 5? It goes up to a 5, and we're going to make this a 10. This has to be better. This has to... Ooh. It's better, but not that much better. This is the Suica game orange we're talking about. Oh, actually... Oh, actually... Oh, this is like a shockwave that's making its way through the orange. Okay, it still wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. But that was actually pretty good. Okay, that was actually pretty good. Half of the orange now looks like a, a piece of a piece of coal that Santa Claus gives to someone when they're bad one year, okay? That's what that side looks like. This side still looks like the cute, adorable orange. So we're gonna have to go a little bit bigger. We're gonna have to go a little bit bigger and badder and more amazing. Let's go with uh, two nukes. We're gonna fire two nukes because one was clearly not enough. Oh, I went right for the orange eyeball. I went right for his eyeball. Oh. Wait for it. Wait for the implosion. It looks like the orange has two eyeballs right now. And oh, man. Okay. Yeah, that definitely left a mark. Okay, this one might be my favorite. This one might be my favorite one so far. This is the apple. Now, this in the Suica game is when the fruit are really starting to get big. So I have a feeling this planet might be a little bit harder. Like, you know what? Just for comparison, let's fire a nuke right at the R or the apple's mouth and see what happens. We're going to speed it up a little bit. And... Oh, that was actually pretty big. Oh, that was actually pretty big. That might have been just as big as the orange. Okay, you know what? That's totally fine. We're going to go here. We're going to make this as big as it goes. Uh, we're going to make this as big as it goes. Come on, come on, come on. A hundred. Perfect. Fire! Oh, no. This could be a problem. Oh, this could be a problem. Oh, my gosh. It burns my eyes. I never thought an apple would burn my eyes, but this is... Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, there's just, like, little apple shards flying around space right now. If there, if there's, like, a space worm, it would be very happy. Oh, I should have fired the worm at the apple. Because, you know, worms love apples. Oh, you know what? Let's reset the simulation. Let's bring the apple back. I don't even care if this blows up the apple or not, but I gotta give the worm... A little, uh, a, a little apple here, right? Worms love apples. I assume giant, evil, planetary-eating space worms also like apples, but I'm not exactly sure, okay? Is it... Is it... Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's going back for more? Going back for more? Okay, I would say that it enjoys this apple. Okay, it might never leave. It might never leave. I think it's just gonna eat the entire inside of this planetary apple. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It got, it got its fill of apples. It's no longer hungry. Okay, thank you, uh, space worm. This one turned out great. All right, this is the peach. So this is the fruit before things start getting real crazy. Also, now I'm remembering, yes, I also forgot the pear. I'm sorry, I have a terrible memory. I just played Suica game last week. I already forgot the fruit. But here we are, skipping right to the peach. That's what we're doing here. Okay, so we're gonna go a swarm of bees. Because bees love sweet things, and peaches are very sweet. I don't know, it's, it's, it's what I'm gonna go with here. Let's go bam, bam, bam. Oh my gosh, this is too many bees. Oh, there are just too many bees right now. They're just taking over this peach. Look at the swarm on that side right there. Oh, it just kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies looking at it. Oh, that had to be like three or four hundred bees right there. That had to have been like three or four hundred bees right there. And you know what? They really enjoyed part of the peach. But they didn't do a good job. I got an idea. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the laser beam. And we're going to fire it right at the sun. This is going to make the sun blow up. 
There we go. Okay, the sun is about to blow up, which means the peach is about to get fried. Like a like a turkey on Thanksgiving if you fry your turkeys. I actually bake my turkeys on Thanksgiving. But if you fry your turkeys, that's exactly what that was like. Oh my gosh. I got another achievement and there's um little peach rings flying out into the cosmos. You guys ever have those candies, the peach rings? They're fantastic. It's like a little ring that's peach flavored. It's got like sugar on top. It's so good. If you've never had a peach ring, you're really missing out. But look at all those peach rings flying out into space. That was fantastic. Now I'm hungry and I want peach rings. Okay, now the planets are really starting to get big. Let me zoom out a little bit. So this is not the watermelon. This is the regular melon. I usually call it a cantaloupe. You guys say it's a honeydew. I'm not sure what kind of melon this is, but it's a melon. Okay, this is the second biggest fruit in the Suica game. So you know what? This looks delicious, even though I actually don't really like melon. So I'm gonna slice it open with a lightsaber. I am going to slice it open with a lightsaber and see what's inside. Ah, boy. Oh, boy. Yep. Keep, keep slicing. Keep slicing and dicing. Actually, I don't want you to dice. I just want you to slice. Come on, lightsaber. Come on, lightsaber. I can barely see it now. And look at that. We have cut the honeydew melon or cantaloupe, whatever it is. Right in half. Okay, I take back the apple. This is definitely my favorite. We saw it in the beginning of the video, but I kind of forgot what it looked like. This is great. I mean, this looks so natural. Look how big this planet is, by the way. This is a really big planet. I had to zoom out just to get it to this size. Okay, I think there's really only one way to blow up this watermelon, right? I mean, we all know that the watermelon is my favorite fruit in the Suica game, and we all know what my favorite weapon is in Solar Smash. We gotta go planetary destroying Laser Man right into the Suica game watermelon's face. Oh, here we go. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Planetary Destroying Laser Man is loading. He's firing up. He has began firing. Will he blow up the melon? And again, what happens if you blow up a melon? Like, I have never gotten two watermelons in the Suica game, so I don't know what happens. Let's see what happens in Solar Smash. Oh, wow. Again, free watermelon for... Everybody in outer space. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.